The following program depicts disturbed individuals with alarming habits. Viewers should not attempt for risk of serious physical and mental complications. Discretion is advised. This baby thing is like, I never knew I'd be into it. Like, I never saw myself as like maternal or anything. Kids, like, they don't really talk. <laughs> Coming in for a <laughs> They can't, like, tell you, like, what they need and stuff. Something about a, an adult baby is, like, way better than a kid, you know? Hi, my name's Shewa. I'm from Orange County, California. I'm 28 years old, and I'm addicted to being an adult baby. Sarah? She's the love of my life, bro. I never had pets growing up either, so like, that's new for me. The first time I really knew I wanted to be an adult baby was when I was babysitting my neighbor's baby and I looked over and I saw the baby's diapers and I was like, ooh, I wonder what it would feel like to put one on. And I did and I really liked it. Sarah owns over 100 pairs of onesie pajamas and spends a fifth of her monthly income on diapers alone. One of the best things about being an adult baby is that I can pretty much always be myself. You know, babies completely thrive on like only emotion, so I never have to hide who I really am. I take care of myself, you know, I work four days a week at the local pet coup. I work at the um, cash register. <coughs> Nobody knows that I'm an adult baby. You know, it's kind of like when you see on TV shows where the lady has a trench coat on but she's secretly naked underneath. Like, I just have regular clothes on but I'm secretly wearing a diaper. The only person that knows is my caretaker, Cindy. Yay, carrot time! <laughs> All right, baby, you ready? Wait, Cindy, you forgot to put my bib on. Oh, you're the smartest baby ever. Huh. Oh, you're making me blush, Cindy. It was like love at first lick. <laughs> not by, not by me, <laughs> but like my French bulldog Samson that I took with me to the Petco that day walked right up to her and licked her on the ankle, and he doesn't do that to anyone. We locked eyes, and I was like, "Fuck, my life's over." Like in a good way, though. Like it's like over and now it's just beginning. She's my best friend and um, she changes my diapers, she feeds me my bottle. Once a month we put beer in my bottle and we get real crazy. This is not a kinky thing, like I'm strictly the caretaker. We don't, you know, we don't get real physical when I'm a baby because it's wrong because she's my caretaker. But when I'm not an adult baby, we, we're in love, you know? Whenever she decides that she wants to be a baby, like, I never initiate. So, like, it's really cool for me because, like, conversely, like, in the bedroom, like, I'm the dominant of the two of us. Let me hold this. Okay, hold my hand. Yeah, it's kind of a interesting dynamic there. I wish more people would be understanding and I wish I could talk to more people about it, but I'm just too scared. I don't want anyone to judge me. I do get like a genuine joy out of a lot of the activities that we participate in. Sometimes she'll like get on her little like uh, tiny person um, uh, little mobile, I don't know, <laughs> like little tech truck and like goes down the hill and like I push her and like we almost fall down and it's this whole like game of risk where I'm like in charge of her life but if you know if she topples over then like I also get to play nurse. Yeah I just have like a like a thing for that. Earlier this month, Cindy rushed Sarah to the hospital after she split her chin open while riding her little tight truck down a staircase. So I'm pretty happy, yeah. I just love being a baby. I love that I get to pee in my diaper, and I love that I get to suck my thumb, and if I'm sleepy, I just get to take a nap. 